About 69% of Americans said that they had shopped around for a higher quality, less expensive auto insurance mm -hmm. policy. And a similar percentage said they would like to have that ability in the health insurance market today. Hi, I'm Nick Gillespie with Reason TV, and today we're talking with Emily Eakins, Director of Polling at Reason Foundation. Uh, we've got our latest Reason Root poll out, a national poll that's looking at all sorts of stuff. We focused on health care uh, and the new health care that was passed by President Obama. Let's look at some of the results. Uh, you note that about 50% of Americans have an unfavorable opinion towards the new health care law, about 32% have a uh, favorable opinion of the health care law. What, uh, what more can we say about that? What we found is that uh, the, the law does not enjoy a great deal of support mm. right now. About 50% fifty, about 50 just say we should repeal it, and 62% believe it's unconstitutional. Mm. And that is mostly, th what, when they say it's unconstitutional, are they talking about the individual mandate part? Yes, they're, they're talking about the part, of the provision in the law that, requ that Congress requires individuals mm -hmm. to obtain health insurance or else pay a fine. Right. And we find that likely the, the opposition to the health care law is probably driven by opposition to this particular provision. Mm -hmm. However, when we ask about some of the other provisions in the health care law, we actually find support for those provisions. A lot of polls ask about explicit provisions in the law, mm -hmm. but they don't tend to ask about the potential cost. So they'll say something like, do you think everybody should be covered, but then they don't say, do you think everybody should be covered even if it increases your uh, premium by 100% or whatever. Exactly. Yeah. And, and, and it's understandable why that's the case, because it's hard to know um, what could potentially occur as a result of these provisions. So we asked about a few. Um, one in particular, um, we asked about community rating, mm -hmm. which prohibits health insurance companies from charging higher rates to some customers on the basis of medical history or pre-existing mm -hmm. conditions. So when we ask about this, we find what most polls find, that there's majority support for this provision. 52% of Americans favor this provision. Right. However, we So that a slim majority of Americans don't want people with bad medical conditions to have to pay more for health insurance. Correct. Yep. We ask, if it were the case that this provision resulted in higher taxes, would you favor or oppose mm -hmm. this provision? Support actually drops to about 37%. Mm -hmm. Um, then we asked if it were to result in higher premiums. Mm -hmm. Support also drops to about 40%. Mm -hmm. And if we ask about um, increased wait times, you know, wait times to right. see your doctor, support also decreases. But when we ask about if this provision, community rating, were to result in lower quality health care, opposition skyrockets mm -hmm. to 76%. So it appears that people aren't too thrilled with higher taxes or higher premiums. Um, but there is maybe some room for negotiation. But when it comes to quality of health care, this is something people are not ready to, nego to, to sacrifice or to right. negotiate. And you found that it was something like 58, six, around 60% of Americans are satisfied with their current health care. Correct. And that seems to be the main sticking point. If anything changes that decreases uh, the quality of their care, they'll be very upset. Correct. Part of uh, what you found is that about six, around 60 percent of Americans are satisfied with their health care and mm -hmm. they seem to be um, upset at the notion that anything might change that would reduce the quality of their health care. Mm -hmm. By the same token, they are not particularly aware of how heavily regulated the health care market is. Can you talk a little bit about the disjuncture between people's uh, understanding of the quality of health care and the way the health care system actually works. Yes, we asked a few questions about regulation in the health care market. We found that about a third of Americans thought it was very regulated, a third thought it was just you know somewhat regulated, and another third thought it wasn't very regulated at all. Mm -hmm. Then we asked well, is it regulated too much? To the extent that it is regulated, mm -hmm. um, about 40% said it wasn't regulated enough, mm -hmm. um, and, and you know another third said it wasn't. It was regulated too much, and some thought it was about right. This shows a disjuncture between what is actually happening in the healthcare market. Is it regulated a, a lot or just a little? Um, and, and what does that mean for you know reforming the healthcare market? Because clearly there are problems. There are ways that we should be looking to improve it, and it's hard to move forward if people aren't clear as to what the market mm -hmm. currently looks like. And you said that people don't really have a sense of strong competition within the healthcare market or, or the idea of making choices. 
That's correct. Um, about 42% of Americans said that they, that they did not believe they had a choice in health insurance providers. Mm -hmm. And to show some contrast to this, 68%, about 69% of Americans said that they had shopped around for a, 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 a higher quality, less expensive auto insurance mm -hmm. policy. And a similar percentage said they would like to have that ability in the health insurance market today. Right. Um, however, it, that isn't really possible the way the structure mm -hmm. is set today. The bottom line of the health care findings of the Reason Root poll is really that people are generally satisfied with their health care as it stands. That's right? That's correct. Yeah. Uh, that also uh, that people don't know all that much about their health care or how it's delivered. Yes. And that uh, they are very skittish about anything that would drive quality down. Correct. Yeah. Correct. So, uh, and a final point uh, in the poll, it says, uh, or you found that uh, something like 55% of Americans are in favor of giving compensation to organ donors. Can you talk a little bit about that? We asked about whether or not, if an individual wanted to donate an organ under medical supervision to um, another individual who, who needed it, would, would, um, would we be allowed to compensate um, that person? And um, although under current law this isn't allowed, 55% uh, of Americans think it should be legal to financially compensate someone. Emily Eakins, Director of Polling at Reason Foundation, I want to thank you for talking to Reason TV today. Uh, we have our new Reason Root poll. We're going to, uh, just out, we're going to be rolling out the uh, results of that over the next few days and weeks. Thank you very much. For Reason TV, I'm Nick Gillespie.